Uh, well, we do have uh, uh, Sam Robertson here, who is our resident expert on wrestling. Yes. And what a huge story that came out uh, over the weekend. Wow. One of the biggies. Oh, yeah. Uh, gone. Yeah. One of the biggies. Ugh. Gone. Uh, Macho Man. Randy Macho Man Savage. Maybe the biggest. Would Was you really? put him as... Well, I would put Hulk Hogan as the biggest. Sure. Uh, as far as, you know, history goes, longevity. Mm -hmm. Well, now, of course, longevity, you know, because... He's still alive. I beat him out. But I mean, career longevity. And, uh, y yeah, you'd have to put the Hulkster. Second, would you put Macho Man, Randy Savage, or Rowdy Roddy Piper? How about The Rock? Maybe not longevity, but his, or Andre the Giant. Those are more famous hey, Scott guys. Calhoun. All right. There you go. <laughs> 23 could do again. But Andre the Giant, I think, was more famous than any of them, no? Yeah. Uh, yeah, but in terms of impact, Hulk Hogan had the biggest impact, and then The Rock had a bigger impact than Macho Man, sure. but it was a different era. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I think I'm just talking wrestling, like, overall, not just a, a part of, yeah. of, of, like, I don't know. Because you'd have... And, and, and The Rock, you know, because of acting, you kind of, in hindsight, look at him as... He had four or five years, Pretty huge, it. yeah. Um... The Undertaker is another one. Yeah, but mm, mm. since 1990 he's been around, and now it's 2011. Yeah, but he's not, you know, snapping to a Slim Jim. And no, no. I Which think, one did I meet? Like, the guy ooh, with the mask. Oh yeah. Which guy with the it's mask? A monster. Abyss. <laughs> yeah. The guy with the mask. He's a monster. Yeah. How, about, how about Goldberg? Goldberg is not. Oh, one. Flash. Yeah. Flash, flash in, in the, the pan. pan. How about the other one? Saying. There are lots of other ones. Yeah, the other one. <laughs> Many oh, other yeah. ones. The, the other guy. The Brooklyn Brawler. Classy yeah. Freddy Blassie, you horse's assy. <laughs> the guy, uh, there's a guy who's editing uh, with Bonnie, helped Bonnie edit, and he uh -oh. made a documentary on Look wrestling. I don't know the Only. name, but he followed yeah. uh, like four or five wrestlers. Uh, for the last six years. Have you seen this? What was it? A big documentary? <laughs> uh, one of the wrestlers died. Uh, oh, in wow. Jail. Wow. That's... It, he overdosed or something. He was in jail. I'll get you the documentary. You'll Please love do. it. No, for you. Because no, no, you're yeah. a wrestling kid. kid. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. You He's know, wrestling but kid. But I think Macho Man was probably behind Hulk Hogan the wow. biggest. I mean,. There aren't many other wrestlers who would have garnered the attention that he did. It was on every single news channel on Friday. It really was, yeah. And, and I, they've never done that. All right, yeah. Think about if another wrestler died, if it would just be like as big a story as it was. Uh, I think uh, that's pretty big. Yeah, what I think if, Macho Man probably the second biggest. What about Bruno San Martino? I don't think he's don't as think big so. as a Macho Man. No. no. Back in the day, he was. See, <laughs> it's all relative. What if uh, Ultimate relative. Warrior died? You think he'd get the coverage like the Macho Man? <laughs> no. I don't think he would. Boy. And I think that also has a lot to do with the fact that his legacy was somewhat tarnished towards the end. Somewhat. Yes. Who? The Ultimate Warrior. What happened? Warrior. Oh. Just Warrior. Well, wow. he's just crazy. Yeah, and he's he never... batshit crazy. What about the guy that pissed himself in, your, in here? Ah, the Iron Sheik. Iron Sheik, come yeah. a clutch. I humble you. I fuck you in the ass, and I humble you. He became a bit of a parody towards... Yeah, that's, that's what, true. His legacy would be that he became a, a bit joke. of a parody towards... Curly the shoe end. joke. But for me, when I was a kid, Macho Man was way more Macho Man was Hulk very Hogan. flamboyant, could rock the mic... Better than uh, anyone. Yeah, yeah, one of one of the best. We were up in uh, when we were up in the Poconos uh, the other day. We uh, came uh, went to a convenience store, beer beer store, yeah, beer. and they it was very convenient. They had beer, <laughs> and and there was oh. a there was a tin, a round tin with uh, you know Slim Jims in there. Yeah, and it was uh, the outside painted. His picture was on wow. it. And he's like, Who's? and I'm like, Macho Man, Randy Savage picture. And and I was like telling the guy behind the counter, I go, yeah, collect this item right here. Yeah, and they tried. Like, they tried to have other wrestlers do the Slim Jim commercials too. Uh, None work. of them worked the way no. Macho Man did. The Warrior just, did Slim Jim. Slim, Slim Jim. The right. Warrior did. Yeah. Do you have that on? On a uh, YouTube it's or something like that? All of the um, maybe we could talk to Troy because all the conspiracy theorists. Oh no! Are are theorizing that perhaps Macho Man was responsible for uh, making sure that the rapture didn't happen? Yeah, I heard tell that. <laughs> now some people think Macho Man had a heart attack. I actually have a picture of of him saving the day. It's right here, as a matter of fact. See what happened was <laughs> Macho in. Man came off the top rope in heaven 
and gave the flying elbow to Jesus, to who, was Jesus about to, who was about to fuck the world up. Just ready to get that rapture thing going. And Macho Man uh, gave the flying elbow to that's, Jesus. That's not real. Somebody added that. And just uh, <laughs> and and uh, stopped the rapture from happening. I've got an wow, an Ultimate Warrior Slim Jim commercial and a Bam Bam Bigelow. Slim Bam Jim Bam commercial. Bigelow. Who yeah. the fuck? Bam Bam Bigelow. He's, he's New Jersey's too. finest. Yeah. Wow. All right. Let's see. Well, that's here's the, the curse of the Slim Jim commercial. Here's Warrior. Here's Warrior. Oh shit! Sorry. Come on, Dan. What do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? You boys a bit bored? <laughs> Step into it! Step into Slim Jim! Oh. Step into the fight! Take me to the fight! Hey, guys! Hey, King! Step into it! Need a little excitement? Step into it, Slim Jim! Not as good. No, he's, no. he's really over the top, I'd say, on it. You want to see Bam Bam Bigelow? Let's see Bam Bam Bigelow's. Oh, and the others for me. What's that? Need a little excitement? <laughs> Snap into a Slim Jim. No. No, that stinks. Bam Bam didn't that have it. That sucks. And where's the original? Uh, the Macho Man. Randy there's Savage. A, there's a lot of... Uh, parody. That's what yeah, that's yeah. a lot of parodies turning up lately. A lot of people really taking his death uh, seriously. Here it taking is. it to heart. Oops. I always like to keep my favorite snack handy. Need a little excitement? Step into a Slim Jim. Oh, yeah. Now that's a Slim Jim commercial. What happened? Well, something happened. I'll tell you this. That he commercial. Was awful. <laughs> He was fucking talking off. about. <laughs> That's not it. I'm gonna throw it in the gate through the rope. <laughs> he wasn't awful. Stunk. <laughs> What's gonna happen to me in the macho man? <laughs> That would be macho, man. Macho. There is a lot of history between you yes. and Jake the Snake Robert. Before you women out there. Forced to watch your man, your husband, laid out unconscious. This might be an older injury, yeah. That might make you a little bit upset. <laughs> that might make you a little bit over the edge. That might make you a little bit insane, if you know what I mean. And a few men out there were forced to watch your wife, or your woman, or your main squeeze, yeah. Begging to another man, <laughs> and then getting slapped. By another man. What? Make Jake you Roberts. Upset. Jake the that Snake. Might make you a little bit yes. Macho Man's edge. talking about Jake. That might make you a little bit insane. But not me, Snake Man. Not me. Because I know what I'm going to do to you tonight. Oh. What are you doing? Maybe I am insane. Maybe I am insane, and maybe it's time for you, Jake the Snake Roberts, to find out how insane I am. Yeah. Who's that, Lewis right now, yeah. <laughs> Let's get back to ringside. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. Are you going to want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with that guy? No, no. Yeah, we, that, we, that was a great loss over the weekend. I what a great loss. I had the sunglasses. I had the bandana. I had the T-shirt. I had everything. You did. The wristbands. Did your mommy get them for you, or did she make them? No, no. Did she week. fucking weave weave the uh, bandana herself? She, she bought the real ones. Yeah. You can, yeah. Have, you can still wear the wristband. Now you have to put bark on it. <laughs> <laughs> and windshield glass. Slim <laughs> Jim. <laughs> that was fucking horrible, that commercial. Yeah. Well, um, so they're saying he had a heart attack. Yeah, they said he had a heart attack while he was driving. Well, that's driving. what his brother is saying, because I think the autopsy... We've been Lanny Poffo? Yeah, the, the, the autopsy reports said, like, inconclusive or something. Said no like heart attack wow. yet? Well, well, he, he, he might have been on those steroids, huh? Well, I mean, steroids don't make. He could have been, but why? Why jump to conclusions? Uh, why jump to conclusions? By the way, so how old? Days, Thirty-eight days on the wrestler death clock. Oh, wrestler death clock mm. was reset. Uh, who was the last wrestler to uh, go? Sweet and sour Larry Sweeney. Sweet and sour Larry Sweeney went uh, thirty-eight days ago. A mere yeah. thirty-eight days How'd ago. How did he die? Uh, he hung himself at a wrestling school. <laughs>
Do you know him or no? Yeah, I did. I worked a show with him. Oh, shit. He was 29. Get out 29? of here. 29? Very sweet he was, yeah. Why and he's did... still in school? <laughs> <laughs> in a wrestling school. Why did he, uh, what, anybody have any comments on why he would have done that at he such had, a young age? He had some problems. He had severe bipolar and, and a whole bunch of stuff that made him lose a couple of So why did he just gigs. bring it back? Why would he keep buying it? Oh, Chip. No, it's two. The Macho Man. <laughs> Randy Savage was 58. 58 years uh, young. Exactly double his uh, the other guy's age. Oh, my God. <laughs> which is, is like which a is 50, Lincoln thing. 58 old for a wrestler. That's uh, fucking 90 for a wrestler. That is. That, that is true. Why was um, he still wrestling? No. No, it's just most wrestlers don't <laughs> well, make it to 58. No. Not wrestling, but they live. Incorrect. It, it's just... That's not, that's not what I'm what? saying. Did you, did you see any accident pictures? Yes. I, well, I saw a picture of the car the smashed car. up on the tree. Yeah, did it, did it, because I haven't seen it, but I heard it looks like he just drove smack into a tree. Yeah, it's where, yeah, he just drove through a divider into oncoming traffic, passed it into a tree. Think it was suicide? No, because his wife was in the car. I mean, they were arguing. Oh, his wife was in the car, too. His wife was, uh, minor injuries. Uh, Not Miss Elizabeth, by the way, because my mom called me and said Miss Elizabeth was in the car with him. No, how did that inform happen? <laughs> yeah. I informed my mom Miss Elizabeth had died several She's years ago. She's dead. Yeah, Miss Elizabeth is, di is dead she from die? Like, pills and alcohol. And she a wrestler, too? She was a manager. Oh. She was the first lady of wrestling. One of the bimbos that come out. I remember what? the name. Was she from the 80s? One of yeah, the bimbos yeah. that come out with the wrestlers, you know. She was oh. Macho's wife in real life. Mm. For, oh, yeah, really? For a time. Now? She's hanging out with Lex Luger and partying. And she oh! Died. Now, though, reunited in heaven. Oh, I don't know, because Sensational Sherry, who managed the Macho King, uh -huh. also dead. So we'll see. Wow, there's, there's a friggin' seasons. brawl going on up there. Yeah. Maybe they'll have some kind of a, a match uh, in heaven. To win the the fancy of the Macho Man. And you know, at one point, Macho Man teamed with Mr. Perfect, who is also dead. Who so, is dead. Holy shit. The, wrestling know. is an amazing uh, yeah. activity. As a tag team you're never going to see again. Perfect Maniacs. Yeah. Gone Perfect forever. Maniacs. I was part of a gang called the Maniacs. <laughs> Were you? Why are you, Chip? Oh, what, what, what did you do? Fuck everything. Oh, Yeah. Was it drugs? Was it uh, vandalism? No. Was it stealing? No, no, we just like selling candy we stole. Oh, you stole candy? Yeah. It's not maniacal. Cool. Oh, fucking right out of store, though. Boom. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Guess I shouldn't have taken that opportunity to put that spoonful of soup in my mouth. <laughs> you listen to more Macho Man promos. Yeah. A little bit later on, against Ming, the face of terror from the Dungeon of Doom, that means... That Luger and the Macho Man, Randy Savage, mm. will indeed be meeting here at Halloween Havoc. And so oh, is that did anyone take that, that seriously? One down, one to go. Oh. You know what? I beat Stop the Zodiac it. here. And we have even a little audience participation, yeah, because I'm wild, yeah. And I'm going to tell you something, old boy. Thanks. You said she about me a few days ago, yeah. And I don't think yeah. you can separate business from friendship. I'm your friend. But if I ever see you in the ring, I can beat you. Don't you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Randy Savage, I know you your are... Your mustache is crooked. Your beard is sideways, too, but I don't want to get into that. That's I'm not right. going to take personal pot shots at you or anybody else. That's not my nature. Get in line, everybody. I'm a little better me. guy than that. I don't mind telling you. Cool. I'm a bigger man. Cool. Well, how did we get into this? That's okay, man. Very curious. I'm going to take Lex Luger because I know he's going to beat Ming because I'm going to make sure he does. Can, can, can we just uh, get away from the subject of the, <laughs> the Luger uh, potential Randy Savage match? I want to ask you one other question because everywhere I go, people are talking about these two monster trucks that are going to be colliding here a little bit later on. Oh, no. The There's giant a in the truck dungeon match. of Doom truck and your good friend Hulk Hogan in the Hulkster's monster truck. My curiosity is Wait, killing me just this. like a cat would be killed mm, by the curiosity. Yeah, four? because of the fact monster machine truck. versus machine and man versus WCW. man oh. doubled and tripled by the exposure of the WCW yeah. heavyweight championship belt. Don't you think I have a little bit of interest right there? I think friendships, is. friendships, business is business. Hulk Hogan already... Through the line in the sand. I'm just following you. <laughs> All right, we're going to be watching I'm very closely. A participant, and I'm going to be watching too. Through the video scope. <laughs> Thank you, the Macho Man, yes. Randy Savage. It, he is it, one of a kind. Let's get you back inside. He certainly is one of a kind. You know, it's just uh, suggested. Yeah, I've got a band. Oh, that, I yeah. just suggested in my little headphones here. Yeah. I mean, 
we're talking about how I'm coping with the loss of the Macho Man. True. But, I mean, the only thing that would make me feel better is to hear a real fan of wrestling doing his best Macho Man impression. So, somebody like a sex bagel, I guess. Maybe uh, e If he could do that. Now, d- he does an impression. He does a Macho Man impression. Of the Macho Man. Does he? Oh, yeah. Oh, please. Hopefully from, you know from what? a few days ago. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Jimmy, you should really be nicer to your fellow co-star. You should be mourning the loss of your co-star. What? Because you, you two star. guys were in the same film together. Oh, that's true. He was in Spider-Man. He was in Spider-Man. Oh, was he? Oh, I didn't know. Yes. That. Wow. And after we that. after we deal with this tragic situation, somebody owes an apology. Oh boy. <laughs> oh shite. <laughs> oh oh. Um, so let's get a rock. <laughs> oh boy! Somebody, uh huh, jumped the gun. Ah, now, I know, I know what's going curious. on here. But I thought that you knew that already. This will make sense in like ten. Very minutes. curious, <laughs> very curious indeed. Did he fight Hulk Hogan ever? Of course he fought Hulk yeah, Hogan. Yeah, and yeah, mega powers time. collide. Where oh, is the sex? <laughs> but why isn't the sex bear on Where his way? That? Well, I don't know that. I don't know the answer. Where is it? Let's get the oh, sex man comes. to come in here. Oh, here he comes. Oh, I can't wait. Awful. I can't wait to hear him. Fingers. That's always my favorite part. Oh, it's <laughs> Snap up. into a fat Eric. Oh. See? By the way, Eric, uh, I hope he's training for Friday. Uh, it's That's on this Friday? Physical fitness challenge. Physical, physical fitness challenge. The money is still up. Oh, yes. I have 200 bucks uh, on Sam Roberts. Jim OBS. has fifty dollars on yeah Eric yeah do on what? Eric I, uh, physical uh, fitness challenge stop getting excited because you're here gambling yeah <laughs> true uh, our own Iraq hello Are hello you Mr. About Eric Macho Man? yes he was your favorite he was one of my favorites he was my mm. favorite I used to have the uh, back in the day <laughs> WW- the pillow buddy thing yes uh, yep totally. I used to have the WWF uh, Wrestling buddies. Wrestling buddies. They, they were made out of uh, like like a pillow material. Ew. So I had the Randy Savage one that you could jump off the couch and beat up and pin and <laughs> or cuddle with and hug when you want to sleep. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Drill a hole in and fuck. <laughs> yeah, you had a doll. Yeah, or get chocolate on. <laughs> Try to tell his dad it was a puppet. <laughs> his fingers, his fingers had chocolate on them. <laughs> get on the macho. <laughs> Ah, the Macho Man was just stained with a garlic butter sauce yeah. and caramel all over. <laughs> oh shit! Just treats, whipped cream. Aw, uh, young Free Rock, Rock. Yeah. wanting to cuddle with his his Macho Man buddy, but, but he wouldn't give up his dessert. But he needed his treats. Rock had the little chocolate in the corners of his mouth, kissing the Macho Man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Any of this happen, Rock? No, not all oh, right. Just just wanted to get the facts out there. No. Uh, now, we here tell through our own Sam Roberts yeah, okay. that somebody in this room uh, does an amazing Macho Man Randy Savage impression. It is not I, but I w- am willing to try. Well, what do you mean it is not him? Well, actually, it's not him because he's not in character. I mean, I'd spoken to our producer, and he said if you wanted an intro with the music oh, and the whole thing, oh. then he could leave. If we want to do this right, like Eric no, can leave, and I can do the, oh, of the, the Macho Man music. We need the music, and oh, then Macho he gets Man the music, mic, you know what? And then uh, does an impression. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> oh, shit! Oh, he threw the mic pissed. down. He just threw the mic down. He went to pick the mic stand up. It came apart in two pieces, and then instead of putting it back, he... Through the mic. Well, because he down. wanted to slam down the whole mic stand. When he pulled it, it came in half, so it lost yes. the effect. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. It's like Jerry Lundegaard with the ice scraper. <laughs> uh, is Iraq going part- to participate in this? Or is- I owe an apology. Oh, yeah. Let's I get Iraq. Uh, we have to get the right, music. Where's the music? Here it is. Here he comes. And here comes, oh, my God, the macho man, Randy Savage, coming in. What a spectacle this is! Macho Man! Ooh, yeah! <laughs> Funky like a monkey, so sweet to be sour, yeah! <laughs> wow, fantastic! What an, what an entrance! What do you plan on doing this evening? Well, I'll tell you, Hogan, that when I get my hands on you, that will be the end of Hulkamania. As we know it! Oh, yeah! Dig it! 
<laughs> Holy now, smokes. I like that Danny. impression because I'll tell you why. Because Eric gets the dynamics. The low of, of the Macho Man. Because macho I would have just started screaming Macho Man shit. No, but, no. But Eric knew that sometimes the Macho Man gets real down <laughs> and he talks to you yeah. from his soul. But then he gets really angry. <laughs> I yeah, some of Friday I got my money on Sam because she's out of breath from that. Oh, I know. He's, <laughs> he's huffing and puffing from doing an impression. <laughs> wow, that you know, I wanted to goof on you, but you did. You had the dynamic down. Uh, I told you you did it. I couldn't even. I was no? humiliated. That was what the a, first time I, I, I ever was tried it, so. What a haunting tribute to the man, the myth of the late. Uh, Macho Man Randy Savage. Very sad. Very, very sad indeed. Um, are you going to go out back and bury your little Macho Man buddy? No, that's long gone. Poor little feller. <laughs> I wish I still had it. Really? Don't have it anymore. <laughs> Who likes wrestling more, you or him? I do. He, he, oh. I, I like it a lot, but he's way into it. Like It's scary how see, well he's into see, it. See, Sam likes it from the viewpoint of somebody that knows a lot about it, the people, the you know, dynamic, the business end of yeah. it. And uh, Eric knows it like like a five year old yeah. that just Eric likes the likes colors. It he has no friends. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, Eric, well. still, Eric still gets upset when the good guys lose. Come on! Does he like John Cena? He loves John Cena. John he Cena's the man. John huh? Cena. Would he want a John Cena doll? Do you think? Oh, he, he has them. He's gotten John Cena to sign them for him. Wow. Definitely. Damn. And I remember when we went to the WrestleMania press conference last time, he was the one guy in the press who was wearing a Triple H T-shirt. <laughs> While we interviewed Triple H, Eric was wearing a Triple H T-shirt. That was a size. Triple H. Do you think that um? Because he was getting all those things signed. Remember for the Katrina raffle? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Do you still have all those things? No, the autograph the Katrina the... stuff is all gone. Oh. oh okay. We made a lot of money off that. Uh, you, that you, you did? <laughs> yeah. No, not me. <laughs> no, there was a, you're talking about after that auction, we started collecting stuff for a second yeah, auction. Which nobody would never want to do, so we wound up giving it all away before we moved over here. Oh, that is true. I remember that. Yeah, we gave all that shit away. Um, <laughs> well, that was uh, great. Very thank, good, thank you, Iraq. Uh, and... Uh, but bon voyage, Macho Man, Randy Savage. What about the broad that wrestled? Uh, the broad that the, wrestled? About yeah, the wrestling. The, the fucking one the fabulous the moolah. Oh, uh, yeah. The single female wrestler? You know, you know the one that was famous. What's China. Yeah. <laughs> and her giant clit. I got four, four major autographs. They were all on TV guides. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got all of them autographed by the ones that Did you were actually in. get them signed or were they just printed? No, they're signed. And now what? Just sitting in my basement. I was deciding who to give it to, oh, Eric or him. I didn't know. Oh, him. Yeah, but you've given me nothing. Eric has given me hope. <gasps> oh. oh. I thought your documentary was funny. All right. So far, you're right. in the running. <laughs> Great. Whoever uh, wins the challenge right. gets it. <laughs>